talk about something kind of fun today. I've got some maybe heavier topics that I want to touch on later, but I thought that today could just be a fun little talk about an idea I had. So I want to argue with myself, probably, <laughs> that drawing fan art is a good way to improve your character design. So my thought process behind this is that it's kind of like learning from the masters. Like when you take like, you know, a painting from one of the masters and you try to recreate it to learn their techniques. It's kind of like that. If you're drawing, say, like your favorite anime character or your favorite webcomic character, you know, you probably like that character because you admire their design somehow. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, narrative can play into it, but you know, character designs appeal to you for a reason. Um, so maybe taking those ideas, learning from them, and taking techniques from the master, you know, drawing like a cool piece of fan art to show how much you like them. It seems like a really good way to learn from the artists you admire the most. It can also be, I mean, I found this with a lot of fan art that I've drawn, is it can be like a crash course on costume designs. Uh, for example, I got really into Fire Emblem for a while, so I was drawing a lot of characters from that. And I learned a lot about like drawing armor and drawing cloaks and kind of fantasy gear. Yeah, I mean, it keeps me from drawing the same character in like a t-shirt and jeans all the time, because that's like my default. So drawing fan art really helps me like kind of step away from my default and what I usually gravitate towards and into more kind of refined designs. It forces me to draw like features that I might not normally draw, so like different hairstyles, different facial features, different body types, like just depending on the kind of content I'm drawing. Because like I've learned a lot from drawing fan art. It's stuff I wouldn't have thought of if I was just sitting alone by myself, or even if you're just like drawing off models because someone else was really inspired and figured out a cool thing and you can figure out that cool thing too. A lot of this sounds like tracing, I guess, but it's not really because if you're drawing fan art, you're really remixing the source material and kind of making it your own. It's kind of like a drawing exercise where you put limitations on yourself because you're like, I have to draw this character. It has to look like the character from the source material, even if I'm applying my own stylization to it. Because, you know, you want people to understand who the character is if they're in the fandom, right? So it forces you to keep track of all those things and, like, keep faithful to the source material, add something new to it, like a new emotion or a new a new idea, like a, an AU or something. Putting limitations on your work can, like, boost your creativity. And it kind of saves your brain when, you know, maybe you're exhausted from working on, you know, your regular projects where you... You know, you're you're in charge of everything. It's cool to just take a break and be like, someone else designed this character. I'm just going to draw and learn from them and do something cool <laughs> without having to worry about all the world building behind it. Oh, along the lines of like costume stuff and like new features, drawing fan art also taught me a lot about like color palettes. Again, it's just taking a color palette that like one of the, the masters has like chosen and learning like why it works and what's good about it. So yeah, fan art can be a really cool study in how to be a cool character designer. <laughs> Is this topic dumb? <laughs> Am I being silly? Probably. Anyways, I don't draw fan art very often and half the time I'm drawing like fan art of books I've read where I have to make everything up. So like there goes my idea of like <laughs> learning from the masters with their character design. I get like urges to draw fan art sometimes, especially when it's like cool fantasy armor. I'm like, yes, I will draw this. <laughs> and half the time I don't show it to anyone. <laughs> Anyways, if you like drawing fan art and people tell you you shouldn't, just show them this video and be like, drawing fan art's great. I'm learning so much. Cause for real, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I had a little drink before this. Maybe that's why I sound ridiculous. Okay, so fun little topic today. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and feelings on fan art. I think it's legit. I think most people think it's legit. I don't know why I'm arguing against myself. Anyways, okay. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!